today's video, we are going to talk about how to test COVID-19 or coronavirus. As I keep saying, all countries must take a comprehensive approach. But the most effective way to prevent infections and save lives is breaking the chains of transmission. We have a simple message for all countries. Test, test, test. Test every... Testing is a very important part in the battle against coronavirus. There are two main methods to test COVID-19. They are rapid blood test and RRT-PCR. Today we are going to draw our attention towards RRT-PCR. Real-time reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction is the long term of RRT-PCR. There are three main phases in this test. Sample collection and transport, testing, and reporting. At minimum, respiratory material should be collected for testing. Upper respiratory specimens, nasopharyngeal and oropharyngeal swab or lower respiratory specimens, sputum or endotracheal aspirate or bronchoalveolar lavage in patients with more severe respiratory disease. In addition to these, COVID-19 virus has been detected in blood and stool, as had the coronaviruses responsible for SARS and MERS. The sample collection must be done by a well-trained person with all personal protective equipment. The samples should only be collected using sterile swabs with artificial cotton and flexible plastic shaft. The swab should be inserted horizontally into left or right nostrils and pass up to the posterior wall of nasopharynx which is at a distance of 5 to 6 cm. Apart from this, oropharyngeal swab can also be collected for the testing. All swabs are placed in a viral transport medium soon after collection. All samples should be labeled correctly and they should be sent to lab with a proper request form. Specimens for virus detection should reach the laboratory as soon as possible after collection. Specimens may be frozen to minus 20 degrees Celsius or ideally minus 70 degrees Celsius and shipped on dry ice if further delays are expected. The laboratory should mainly have level 3 biosafety cabinet and PCR machine. There are different test kits commercially available for this test and their procedures are slightly different. RT-PCR is designed to detect the genetic materials. If genetic material is present, the virus is also there. Now let's see what happened in RT-PCR. Generally, RNA is produced from DNA, and this is called transcription. But, as the genetic material of virus is RNA, at the beginning it converts viral RNA into complementary DNA, and this is called reverse transcription. Reverse transcription takes places in a specific region of the coronavirus RNA. If the sample doesn't have any viral RNA the reaction terminates from this point. If not, it continues. Reverse transcription is a very important step because PCR only amplify DNA not RNA. Primers are the building blocks of the new DNA strand. Among these primers, there are ones which carrying a fluorescent dye. When the DNA is amplifying, the fluorescent signal also grows up. That means the test is positive. If it doesn't show any change in fluorescence, the test is negative. Actually, 
this test detects the RNA of SARS coronavirus 2 which cause coronavirus or COVID-19. Finally, all the results are transcribed into the report as positive or negative and test report is released with the authorized person signature.